Hello everyone. In this video, we will be seeing a JWT authentication in a GraphQL using Golang. So let's see how we can do this. Initiating Go mode. Okay, and then we can install the package. We have already installed this in the previous video. In case if you have not, please go ahead and install. No need one more. Go get github.com slash michelle slash map structure okay i will be sharing these packages in the description now we can start coding a type employee with a struct and we will keep it very simple like a username username password and then we will have an type called employee detail detail struct and we will have employee id id title and we can have employee address okay now we can have a variable jwt secret byte all this as a GraphQL and then we can have a variable called accounts employee equals to employee and we have username uh, we can give a username I'm giving it as Gordon so name and password give any random number username Nick password and say details emp details equals to emp details now what we have we have three things employee id so we'll say employee details we'll have employee id can say any random number 78 employee title we can say software engineer and address can say san jose now we will have a variable account type graph ql dot object graph ql dot new object and we can say graph ql dot object config uh, name can say account field graph ql dot fields username graph ql dot field type graphql dot password graphql we can actually copy this table m now we have account type now we will have m type it's graphql we can copy this we can change this to m detail okay and then we can change this to id title and we will need to add one more and we can add one more change this to address and we can say resolve resolve function params graphql dot resolve params interface comma error equals to validate jwt amps dot context dot value and we can dot string error not equals to nil return nil comma error return params dot source not employee id employee details dot address we can have a function validate jwt interface comma error if t double equals to return nil comma error dot new token token comma to jwt dot parse t comma function token jwt dot token interface comma error 
Okay, then we can say if now uh, okay token dot method jwt dot signing method hmac okay and we can say return return nil comma fmt dot error f error okay and we can say return jwt secret comma nil if claims comma okay can dot claims jwt dot map claims okay token dot valid code token map structure dot decode claims dot decode token and we can say that will return decode token common l else return nil comma error errors dot new invalid or if no token is present we are going to give an error otherwise we are going to pass the token using our secret if the token is valid we are going to decode and return a decode value otherwise it will return an error function called main token you can call it as main token we can say response http dot response writer comma r request dot http variable we can say user employee equals to json dot json dot new decode new decoder request dot body dot decode user a token jwt dot new with claims jwt dot signing third we can say hs256 common jwt dot map claims we have a username user name user dot user we can say password user dot password equals to token dot signed token dot signed string if error not equals to name if empty dot print line a response dot header we can say response dot header dot set uh, we can give a content type application slash json and we can also have response dot write byte token token string if else now we can go into our main function in fmt dot print line um, starting at at root query equals to we can say graphql dot new object graphql object config we can have a name to query so we are having our query comma fields graphql dot field account and a graph ql dot field type account type resolve function params graphql dot resolve params interface comma error account comma equals to validate params dot context dot value okay and we can say if error not equals to nil return nil comma error uh, we can call it as account new range account new dot username equals to account employee dot username we can say return 
account new common name. okay and then we can say return employee common name and say employee detail and graphql dot fields field type graphql dot new list and type comma resolve function params graphql dot resolve perhaps interface comma error return m comma null schema goes to graphql dot new schema graphql dot schema schema config the root query okay and we can http dot handle func graphql func response http dot response right my request request result graphql dot do graphql perhaps schema schema request a string request and dot url dot query dot get query context context dot with value context dot background command request dot url dot query get okay and we can say return json dot new response dot encode result okay now we are encoding that message we can finally we can say http dot handle func slash we can call it as login or uh, login comma comma main token that's what we gave right main token yeah main token http dot listen and serve and give a port pt80 uh, i think this is okay i made a mistake okay and do i have anything can change this to accounts accounts and Oh, and this is GraphQL. And do we have anything else? Oh, even this is errors. Dot new errors. Okay, let's open a new PowerShell and let's run this. Okay, and let's open localhost eighty eighty slash login. There you go. So this was a very simple example of using a JWT in GraphQL. So guys, if you like my video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.